What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a repair. At least I hope we're doing a repair. I've uh, tried to figure this out the best I can. You're wondering, what are we repairing? Obviously, we're changing the casters on my detail bench, but this is why. If you uh, peep deep in here, I have a, I'm having a little bit of an issue, okay? Um, if you're following this uh, channel, you know well enough about this uh, cart. It's been modified a couple times. I've done these hooks for my foam cannons, this for my second hose. It's a lot lighter with all that stuff off. I just recently did this for extra bottles. Um, and down here is just where I store my uh, electric pressure washer, my wheel bucket, and a couple nail pads. So nothing crazy, but a uh, very cool cart. I've had this for a long time. It's made by Husky, sold at Home Depot, and it's been great. So I am going to give it a more of a clean thing, and I'm, I'm going to figure this out. But I just want to show you um, the problem I'm having. The balls are, if you see them moving, they are coming out. And these wheels are very old, I think. I think this is the right. I called up and they, uh, they said this was the right one. But, um, you never know. It should be. Yeah, this should bolt up fine. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a thicker, a thick boy. These were $11.50 each, so paid $49 today, cash, and uh, I got four of them, so very excited about that. I'm just going to take these off, put these on, because I can't be having little metal ball bearing BBs flying all over my floor. I have kids coming down here, and um, I do have another have another one coming another set but I, I think I'm just gonna keep those as a backup I wonder if this started out that thick and then just wore itself down I've had this cart for about whew, wow uh, I would say maybe eight years max something like that a long time really long time I've constantly modified it I am gonna do another mod I don't want to spoil a future video but I'm gonna be removing these two things for the the foam cannons and I'm gonna move them and I'm gonna put something else in its place for um, polishing look at this car look at this all right let me set the camera up I'm just gonna swap these wheels nothing crazy this bench is so light with nothing on it like look at that what I'm probably gonna do also is um, put coral seal on those bolts on the top part because uh, water does touch them. I might have to get stainless uh, stainless hardware. Water does come in contact with this bench. Um, I really like this cart. I see a lot of people, there's a lot of carts out there, a lot of options. This one was like, when I got it, I think it was like $109 or $99 on sale, and I think it's like 120 right now. Uh, you can find them on sale. What I will say, it came, I think I've talked about this in a previous video, but it came with uh, two flat wheels, straight wheels. I think those are toward here where the handles were. And then pivot wheels, swivel wheels like this. Uh, and what I ended up doing was, this was forever ago, I ended up uh, getting uh, two more wheels from the Home Depot that I was at because they had an open box, one of these. So essentially what I did was I bought two of these. Uh, I, this is before I knew this existed to just buy these. But I had basically bought two carts and then I sold my friend a cart that was just a uh, straight wheel he didn't care he and give it to him for half off anyway but um that's uh that's what happened with that but now I have four uh pivot swivel swivel deals and uh I won't be leaking balls on my ground so let's uh swap it right now
It's a little ridiculous. Like there's balls flying out as I'm doing this, but it does look like we're in luck here. I don't know if I can show this, but it looks like it's should be decent. I think it's gonna line up. I think these are gonna be more heavy duty. It could be ideal. So, excuse the video. I don't have my regular camera, but this sits in there nice actually. Gotta, you know, go through, put the lock washer and the nut after. And um, these are just, these are just seen better days. This is, this is actually really close to uh, not working, actually. I might have to put a spacer. I don't know if this is going to actually work once it's bolted down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit. <clears throat> it's going to goddamn hit. All right. I'm gonna have to put a spacer. I'll be right back. So I found a bunch of washers here. I'm gonna try to put two of these on each peg. My only real concern is now lock washer and nut. All right, I have plenty. You know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> Just because I don't want to deal with issues. I'm going to put one more sp uh, washer. I'm going to do three washers. So that I know that when it swivels, it's going to clear here. Because the thing is, down here, this doesn't come in. And this here has a fatter base and a, a thicker uh, setup. So that's probably why it handles more weight. This is why I'm that guy that just saves everything, you know? I bought a bunch of washers for a project. I actually forget what the hell I even bought it for. Um, but I needed only a handful. I've talked about this in the past, how, you know, when you get something on Amazon, it's uh, kind of like a bulk situation, especially when it comes to washers. Uh, bolts, screws, nuts, you name it. So, whatever you end up getting, it's, uh, you, you just get so many, so many. So, I'm gonna put three washers, um, on each peg, and we're gonna see how that clears. Yep, I farted. That's what I did. I did that. Don't ask if it smells. I'll never tell you. My God, you aren't gonna believe how close. Is this shit even gonna work? What goes on here? So, I'm clearing it here now. No problem. But look. It's actually touching the bolt. This is turning into a disaster. You know what the solution might be? I'm gonna put one washer on the inside here under the bolt and three washers on the inside here. So um, I don't have just four washers here because what I wanna do is I wanna suck the bolt in a little bit but still add some girth. So let's try that. All right guys, we're finished. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this sucked. Uh, everything I do ends up turning into a disaster. <laughs> uh, comedic relief is what I'm going to start calling it. But uh, this is finished. Uh, I'm going to see, like I said, I had another set of casters coming. And, um, you know, these work. They work. And uh, I just want to know if the other ones are going to work better. So I'll decide then if I'm going to end up switching it out. But what I ended up having to do was put two washers. I ended up having to put two washers on this side and three on the inside. So that's five washers. 
to offset the bulk of the base of uh, this because this was longer so this was an issue and then also the length of the nut was causing uh, a problem because this distance between here and here just um, stupid little things we figured it out I didn't want to have to trim off uh, obviously I could have sanded off or grinded off um, some of the plastic on the bottom and it would have been fine but as you can see it moves good the issue I always had with this cart where these are five inch uh, casters so it's not the smoothest thing and it can do one of these um, if you're not careful now I don't usually push this with too much heaviness on it when I have my wash buckets they're filled obviously five gallon buckets but they're gonna have like three to four gallons they're usually outside and then I fill it and then I dump it I'm not usually moving the cart itself too much and um, any other time in here it's gonna have a very heavy pressure washer on the bottom um, and a wheel cleaning bucket with all the supplies on the bottom so it's gonna weigh down the bottom and the top usually is fine I don't really have anything crazy on here but you can see man we've been we mod this cart and uh i like it i like it it's uh it's definitely me but let me show you what it does it does get hung up on itself once in a while but for the most part it's uh it's pretty good it's got some it's got some mobility and i like it i think you just gotta be aware of the limitations but it's uh I, this cart man I've had this for so long for so long I've had this thing so I don't want to let it go I'm one of those guys that would uh, rather try to save this although I did look at Griot's Garage has a cart that has like a polishing holder in it and uh, I really like the idea of that uh, Poco has a detailing cart that's more geared toward polishing which is where everything's kind of heading for me um, I want to learn as much as I can about the art of paint correction and hone my skill and my craft in with that and start doing more content with that so there'll be more videos on detailing and that so if you're into that that's good news and uh, I hope you guys enjoy that kind of content and uh, customization I think this is pretty customized I'll leave a link for this cart down below I mean look at this that's just ridiculous. I didn't even notice that just now, but look at how many balls are missing in there. There's like no, look at this. This is just, after how many years, it's not even like product failure. I, I could see if it was within one, two, three years. This is well over five, six, seven, eight years I've had this cart. It's held up immaculate. I have no complaints that I had to just swap out something simple like that um, with how much abuse I've put through it. So. But yeah, anyway, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for passing by and staying loyal. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to load everything back up and the cart's going to go back into its home, into its little nook and cranny over there. And that's it. This video was filmed entirely on a GoPro. I don't really love it, but the battery held up decent. My camera was upstairs and I was too goddamn lazy to run up there. So I hope you liked it. I truly do. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.